Hey, this is my American Apparel Inspired Faux Leather Clutch Tutorial. You'll need thread, an iron, scissors, paper clips, a half a yard of faux leather fabric, a half a yard of lining fabric, 9 by 12 tracing paper, writing utensil, zipper, sewing pins, a zipper foot, and sewing needles that will not puncture the fabric. First, take a sheet of your tracing paper. This will be your pattern piece for both the lining and the faux leather fabric. My clutch is 9 by 12, but of course you can make it whatever size you would like. Next, pin and cut out two pieces of your lining fabric. Now repeat those steps, but instead of using sewing pins, use paper clips to avoid small holes in your fabric. Now you should have four pieces of fabric, two of the lining fabric and two pieces of the faux leather fabric. Align the top edge of the zipper with the top edge of the faux leather fabric. The faux leather should be facing up and the zipper facing down. Align the lining fabric to the top edge of the zipper and then sew. This is how it should look at this point. Next I just press the seams a little and press the fabric to get some wrinkles out. Now align the second piece of the faux leather fabric to the bottom half of the zipper. So now you have two faux leather pieces sewn to the zipper and one lining fabric sewn to the zipper. Now it's time for your last piece of lining. Align that with the bottom half of the zipper and then sew across. Now you should see the zipper exposed on both sides. It is time to pin along your edges of your lining and your faux leather fabric. You will keep a 2 inch gap which allows you to pull through the fabric. 
When you get towards the middle, I would suggest to unzip your zipper at least halfway. So you're going to start on your left, go all the way around, and end on your right. Once you have sewn the fabric, clip your ends of your lining and curl of the fabric to make the corners lay flat. Now it's time for the fun part. Pull your faux leather fabric through your lining fabric. You might need to use a pin or the handles of your scissors to really poke the corners. So now you need to sew up that small gap that you love in your lining fabric. When closing up the gap, please do not forget to backstitch your fabric. And there you go. Voila. Wow.